Hello everyone, my name is Rahul. In the previous video, we had discussed about cloning vectors. In this video, we are going to discuss about competent host. So the competent host means a host which is capable of transformation, which is capable of transformation. Transformation means transfer of recombinant DNA to the host. So a host which has the ability to accept this DNA to accept this recombinant DNA is a competent host. Now normally DNA is a charged molecule. It is hydrophilic because it has phosphate residues in its backbone. Therefore it cannot easily cross the cell membrane because cell membrane is made up of phospholipids and charged particles cannot easily cross the cell membrane. Therefore to make the host competent there are various methods which are known as gene transfer methods. Gene transfer methods are of two types, indirect methods and direct methods. First, we will discuss about the direct methods. In direct methods, foreign genes are transferred directly without the aid of any vector. So the direct methods include electroporation. Electroporation means we pass electricity to the electricity through the cell to create transient pores to create transient pores in the membrane when electricity is passed. So these transient pores will allow the recombinant DNA to enter the cell and then these pores will close up. Next is chemical mediated genetic transformation. In this, we are going to use certain chemicals such as polyethylene glycol, which is known as PEG. This helps in uptake of foreign DNA into the host cells. There are also other chemicals which can perform the same function. Then we have microinjection. It uses micro pipette micro pipettes or glass needles to introduce recombinant DNA to introduce recombinant DNA into host cell into host cell next we have the particle gun or the gene gun or the biolistic method so it is a technique in which It is a technique in which tungsten or gold tungsten or gold particles coated with recombinant DNA or the foreign DNA are bombarded onto target host cells so these tungsten and gold are heavy particles so when the foreign DNA is coated on these particles and they are thrown at a high, spe high speed towards the host cell it will automatically enter the cell and the foreign DNA will be introduced inside the host cell next we have liposome mediated gene transfer so liposome you can understand it as a lipid bag it is a bag made up of lipids so now this lipid, the outer covering, this can easily cross the plasma membrane because plasma membrane allows hydrophobic substances to pass through. So we will introduce our DNA into this liposome and this liposome we will use to carry the genes, to carry the foreign DNA into the host cells. So it uses lipid bags to introduce the foreign DNA, foreign DNA lipid bags fused with the protoplast. Lipid bags are fused with the protoplast and the foreign DNA enters. 
Now we will come on to the indirect methods. In the indirect methods, we will first see gene transfer in plant cells. In plant cells, we use a pathogenic bacterium called as Agrobacterium tumefaciens. Agrobacterium tumefaciens it produces the crown gall or plant tumor disease in almost all dicots. So this bacterium it has a plasmid called as Ti plasmid called as Ti plasmid. This Ti plasmid is the tumor inducing plasmid. This is the tumor inducing plasmid. So in the transformation processes, what we do is this Ti plasmid, it has two components. The first component is tDNA and the other component is VIR region. tDNA is known as the transferred DNA and the VIR region is the virulence region the region responsible for producing the disease. So when this tumor causing gene is removed, we are left with the disarmed plasmid. When tumor inducing gene removed from TI plasmid, we are left with disarmed plasmid. So this plasmid will enter the plant cell but it will not be able to produce the disease. So now what we will do is we will recombine, we will introduce our recombinant DNA, the RDNA or the recombinant DNA into this plasmid and this disarmed plasmid we will introduce into the plant cell. So this is how gene transfer is achieved in plants. Similarly, RI plasmid of agrobacterium rhizogenes which causes hairy root disease, it is also used as a vector. Also used as a vector. Now, after plants, we will see how gene transfer is brought about in animals. In animals, we use disarmed we use disarmed retroviruses to deliver desirable genes to deliver desirable genes they use the rna template to generate dna they are basically rna dependent dna polymerases the enzyme reverse transcriptase present in retroviruses it is a rna dependent dna polymerase now gene transfer in bacteria we have to study in detail and it includes both the direct methods and the indirect methods. So we can use treatment with divalent cations, treatment with divalent cations such as calcium 2 plus. So we will incubate the cells with calcium 2 plus ions so it increases the efficiency it increases the efficiency with which with which foreign dna enters the host cell enters the host cell the other method is we can use the shock treatment. We can use the shock treatment. First, what we will do is we will incubate the cells. We will incubate the host cells on ice. We will incubate the host cells on ice. Then we will place them on a medium. with temperature 
42 degree celsius so from 0 degree celsius to freezing temperatures to the 42 degree celsius this is known as heat shock and then we will place them back on ice so this enables bacteria to take up the recombinant dna it loses up the plasma membrane it loses up the cell wall of the bacteria if it is present and the bacteria is able to take the take up the foreign dna or the recombinant dna one important thing is that bacteria to be used as host should be should be free of plasmids there should be no plasmid present in the bacteria which we are using as a host the bacteria to be used as host should be without plasmids so with this we finish off with this discussion on competent host see you in next video